This is my demonstration of the ultrasonic buzzer. As you can see, as I put an object or something in front of it, it will detect it and beep. How the ultrasonic sensor works is that it calculates a distance that's in front of it and if it detects a change in distance, a substantial one, then it will output a signal to beep the buzzer and activate the LED. So here we go. So you see, if I keep my hand still, it won't detect a change in movement, but as I move my hand, it calculates the change in distance and that therefore outputting the buzz and the LED. I also programmed in that the button is the kill switch. So if I press this button right here, then it will stop running. So if you see, it's running. Click this and it is off. So yeah, that's a kill switch or else um, it will continue to annoy you forever. Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to set up my ultrasonic buzzer with these parts here. So if we begin, we can start with just the ultrasonic sensor. We can just place it on the breadboard like that. So now you have those four rails available. So I'll just turn the breadboard this, I mean, grill board this way to make it a little easier. So starting with VCC connect the VCC pin and this goes to 5 volt then next one is trig in my program I the trig connector is D10 then moving on to I believe echo yes echo pin this one for me is going to D7 so the last pin inside my ultrasonic sensor is going to ground so just make that adjustment. So just to reiterate, the VCC pin, that's going to 5 volt, trig going to D10, echo going to D7, and ground going to ground. Now we'll hook up our buzzer and LED. So I, what I did was just connect the buzzer and LED using the same lines. So here you have the positive side, and the negative side. Also with the LED, you use the same, the same lanes or rails and connect them up. So going from the positive side, we go to D4, I believe. I don't think it really matters in this case. D4, D5 for me, and then the negative side goes to ground. Okay, there you go. And this will work with the code that I have provided inside this video. This is the code for my ultrasonic buzzer. Let's just get into it. Uh, here at the beginning, I initialized all my objects and variables. You see, I initialized the Arduino here. Right here, I initialized the ultrasonic sensor with the ultrasonic function. Okay, inside the while loop, you see I set the distance that the sensor is sensing with the read distance uh, function. In this if else statement, this is where the program decides whether or not to activate the LED and buzzer. And it'll do so if it uh, senses a big change in distance. And this is what this conditional statement is inside the if statement. If the distance does change substantially, then the program will write 1 to digital pins 5 and 4, which will activate the buzzer and LED. But if no change in distance is perceived, or no big change, then the program will send 0 to D4 and D5, which will turn them off or keep them off. All of this is done in a while loop which has the condition that the button is not pressed. So if the button's pressed, which I showed in the video, then 
the program will stop and the buzzer will stop working. 